The Gonzaga Bulldogs have been absolutely unstoppable this season. They just secured their second consecutive West Coast Conference Championship in eight and nine years, booking a ticket yet again to another appearance in the NCAA tournament as a projected number one seed. The Northwest powerhouse hasn't missed the tournament since head coach Mark Few took over nearly 21 years ago. Since their Cinderella run to the Elite Eight in 1999, Gonzaga has established itself as a March Madness staple, but all this success is relatively new as the Dogs only made their first NCAA tourney appearance in 1995. So how did they pull off the transformation? Sit back, relax, and take in some college basketball, baby! In 1989, when Few arrived as a graduate assistant at the private Catholic University in Spokane, Washington, the men's basketball program was very different from what you see today. Playing in the mid-major West Coast Conference, outside the spotlight of the Power Five, Gonzaga didn't have any nationally televised games, and its main claim to fame was being John Stockton's alma mater. That season, the team finished 8-20. But between 1990, when Few became a full assistant, first under Dan Fitzgerald and then Dan Munson, the team slowly began to build momentum through several stops and starts. In 94, Gonzaga reached round two of the NIT tournament and went one and done in the NCAA tournament in 95. However, a few years later in Munson's first year as head coach, Gonzaga was passed over for an at-large bid to the NCAA tourney. Athletic director Mark Roth told The Ringer in a 2019 profile that the snub inspired him to up the program's profile by scheduling tougher non-conference opponents. And in the 1998-1999 season, the school and Fox Sports Northwest agreed to a deal to air four Gonzaga games per year. They'd finish 28-7 in Munson's last season as head coach, win the WCC, and land a number 10 seed in the tournament. You've likely at least heard the Cinderella story by now. The Bulldogs upset the 7th seed Minnesota in the first round, while four Gophers players were suspended for academic misconduct. The school's first ever NCAA tournament win would be topped by a stunning upset victory over the number two seed Stanford, helping them clinch their first ever Sweet 16 appearance. The Bulldogs made it all the way to the Elite Eight before losing to the eventual national champions Connecticut, led by future NBA All-Star Rip Hamilton. Gonzaga's leading scorer that season was Richie Fromm, who actually appeared in 140 NBA games which you likely don't remember. I don't remember a thing. And then the Mark Few era began in earnest as Munson was poached to coach at Minnesota. In Few's first two seasons as head coach, he led the Zags to consecutive Sweet 16 appearances in the tournament, becoming only the second head coach in the country to do so since the NCAA tournament expanded to 64 teams in 1985. Few would set a record for NCAA head coaches, winning 81 games over his first three seasons, which stood until Brad Stevens surpassed the feat with Butler. Few was named the West Coast Conference Coach of the Year in six consecutive seasons from 2001 to 2006. And the program's success resulted in the recruitment of higher profile prospects, including 2002 first team All-American Dan Dickow and the 2006 NBA third overall pick, Adam Morrison. Sorry, Adam, we had to. Under few, Gonzaga hasn't missed the NCAA tournament once, has 17 conference championships in 21 years, and has made it all the way to the Elite Eight three times, including the championship game in 2017, where it lost to UNC. Few has helped 20 of his players to NBA careers, including Morrison, Ronnie Turioff, DeMontis Sabonis, Brandon Clark, Rui Hachimura, and Killian Tilly. And in his time as head coach, the Zags have had 19 players earn All-American team nods. And this season, Gonzaga is led by the highest ranked recruit in team history, Jalen Suggs, who was the number six prospect in ESPN's class of 2020. With Suggs, the Zags have scorched their competition going 24-0, becoming the first team since Kentucky in 2015 to enter the NCAA tournament undefeated. I'm undefeated, never lost. And Suggs is widely expected to go in the top three of the 2021 NBA draft. And it's not like they're narrowly beating teams. They're dominating. They won 23 consecutive games by double digits, the longest such streak by any D1 team in the last 60 seasons. Even when BYU put a scare into them in the WCC final, Suggs went off with two late threes to seal the deal. The only thing left to add to the program and to Fuse legacy is a national title, 
AP has them ranked as the team to beat this year. The ball is in their court. It's their title to lose. So what do you think? Will this year be the year for Gonzaga? Let us know what you think in the comments.